Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of A City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. So I'm going to do a couple of little changes on here. Uh, we're going to sort out this road as many people have pointed out to me. I've accidentally made a bridge with this road. That's why I couldn't attach things to it and all of that sort of stuff. And we want to get our tram network running all the way down here somehow into this area. So let's see what we can do. Uh, first of all, I need to change this road out now there's a cool little mod that's going to help me with this because you know what i was saying a few episodes back how it's a right pain in the backside to try and find out oh, what, what road did i use here was it the one with the bus lanes without or with the i mean you can see there's bus lanes but you know what i mean sometimes it can take you a long while to work out exactly which road you've got then to hunt through here and to find it and all of that sort of thing. Well, using this mod down here, is it going to pop up the name? Oh, no, it isn't. There we go. Electrics mods. I can collect, uh, select this button, click on a road. There we go. It's highlighting it blue. Ping. And it's now giving me the exact road that we're using. So if I wanted this road over here... There we go. Now it's picked that road for me, which is absolutely amazing. So we want this road here. And I want to make it so it's not a bridge. Let's just do this in pause mode. There we go. Not a bridge. It seems to have random trees on it. I don't know why the trees are random. It's a bit random. <laughs> They're not like down the middle. And these aren't trees that are underneath. These are trees that are actually on it. Hmm. I quite like the bridge version of it because it doesn't have these... Yeah. Doesn't have these weirdness weirdnesses going on with that. Um, I'm just wondering whether I might just leave it as the bridge version. But anywho, that, that, that was the problem. And that's a cool little mod that helps uh, with that. Uh, also, it was pointed out to me that people parking here can't actually get across to the other side very easily. Although this is all path, but they get onto this road here and they can't cross anywhere. Uh, we could probably easily fix that by just adding a crossing. Uh, like in the middle here. Where's the middle? One, two, three... One, two, three, four. So somewhere like there. There we go. So now people can cross over there. I might just add... Do you know what? I'm going to add some more crossings in. Let's get that there. We're going to have a crossing. It's not the busiest road ever, so we're going to do that. We're going to put three crossings in. There we go. People can easily get across. Fantastic. So that's that sorted out. Um, I may just change this piece of road here. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to change it all. It would just, it looks weird without it being the right sort of road. So let's turn off that. Let's click that. Let's select that road. There we go. From there to there. Very good. And then this connects up to the bridge. And we'll just delete those and that. There we go. Use, turn off the bulldozer. Select that road. Is it already selected? It is. And there we go. Brilliant, brilliant. And now I can put stops in the middle here if I so wish because it's not a bridge anymore. Good. So what are we going to do at the end here? I mean, it does turn into this massive six-lane behemoth with bus lanes and all sorts of stuff going on. Can we just sort of level this off a bit? If I select that, use the Move It mod to make it the same level as that. And if I select that, better. So we want to definitely get... Hmm... Do I want to use this massive road in a bridge over here as well? What would that look like? God, it just looks... It just looks far too big, doesn't it, to go across there like that? Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we will go for another tram road. Let's have a look. Something that looks a bit more fitting uh, across here. Where's my trams? There we go. Maybe this four-lane one. I think that would probably... There we go. So that connects up okay. We're just basically losing the bus lanes and not so many lanes going up there. Yeah, I think that'll do. That'll be fine. Could we do one with trees, actually? Four-lane tram boulevard with bikes. What's this one here? Trams, trains, and bikes. Yeah, with the bike one, because we've got the bikes in there as well. What's this one? Oh, that's another, another massive one. Yeah, let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. And then I think... Uh, with bikes, trams and bikes. We're going to go with this one all the way down here. Yes, yeah, so this is the one, even though this has been a nice big six-lane road, 
I think we're going to connect it, and then we're going to connect to the roundabout. So this is where decisions have to be made. What is going to happen with this junction here? Okay, so what I would like to do is pause the game there. We are going to move this thing out. So we've got this big... No, that's that. I'll tell you what, we're going to grab all of that. Let's do it like this instead. Marquee selection. Uh, yeah, can we copy that and plot that somewhere else? That may come back into being used again. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And then we're going to delete all of this in here, which I could have done with the marquee selection, but never mind. Where's the... There we go. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. So, what I would like to do is remove all of this, and I'm going to try the roundabout mod and just see whether... That can make us a nice looking roundabout for all these roads coming in. So we've got like these little underground, little connection roads. Yeah, it's all a bit of a disaster, isn't it? Let's get rid of those. Let's go underground and get rid of these tunnels. Okay, good. So this is what we've got that's meeting up in the middle here. Let's get above ground again, please, if you don't mind. There we go. Thank you. All. So using this mod here, we can say... See, that to me doesn't look like it goes straight across there, but we're going to select that one and we're going to connect up that with that it's not quite straight is it but there we go uh we're then going to get this one so we, oh i love this mod this is fantastic and we're going to get that into there we're then going to get this one which is the same as what we've used already and get that into there and then what else have we got we've got these ones down here so we're going to get that one can i just go straight in with that I put anarchy on. Maybe we need to curve that a bit. We'll go in with that. And then we'll select this one. Because that's going to go... Mm, how's that going to work? Yeah, this is going to be a bit weird. Let's pop that in there for now. I know that's not how it should look. But that's fine. And then we'll just actually turn that one around. So let's get that. Do that. And that. There we go. Okay, yes. So let's... Whoops, let's go with that. Let's close that down. Okay. So now let's get control zero or control O to make our roundabout builder and want to pick the road that the roundabout's going to be made out of. I would like it to be made out of uh, this one here, three lane highway. So let's just see if we can three lane highway. There we go. Excellent. And we can see sort of, uh, let's close this down. No, nope, one, one. There we go. So control zero. Let's do that. So that is the size it's going to be. We can actually make it bigger. And I think I want to make it bigger. Yeah, double the size like that. And see what that does. Now, we can do elliptical roundabouts, but I'm quite... Oh, we can also get it to set up the traffic manager automatically. So it will put on the enter block junction thing, which we spoke about before. Remember that. No parking. Priority signs. Vehicles... Can you read that for me? Vehicles on the roundabout have a right of way. Yes, please. And disable the crosswalks. Yes, we want that. So let's go with that. Let's just click and see what happens. So that looks like... Let's get rid of the roundabout builder. That looks like it's okay. Let's just get it running for a minute and just see how it kicks in. It's running okay. We've still got this sort of stopping when there's no need coming on here. I'm just going to double check the traffic manager permissions that we've got going on here. Yeah, look, so it's done that for me, not to stop there. Um, and also this one, give way, right of way. Yeah, it's done that for me. That is really handy. What I would like to do... <laughs> traffic's backing up over here. What I would like to do is to make the entrances to the roundabout a little bit better. Well, I have to say, that runs much better than it did before. When things can move on, they move along swiftly. We've got no traffic backing up anywhere, which is fantastic. I'm just wondering whether we could fit um, a slightly larger thing in the middle here. Let's have a look for roundabout. We had some big ones. How big is that? Uh, that's not big enough. That's quite small. Oh, maybe not. I thought there were some larger centerpieces. We'll just go with this one again. Let's grab the whole thing. Let's grab it all. There we go. We'll copy that. And that's got to go in the middle. Is that going to be happy in there? Because I know it needs road connection. Hopefully that's alright. That's not quite centred, is it? 
I think it's centered enough. That'll do. That'll do nicely. So let's grab that again and delete that. There we go. All sorted. That is looking good. A little bit of backing up here, but of course, if it's busy, that's going to happen. Right. So we have to decide how to get our tram over here and where we're going to sort of connect that up to the rest of this system. I don't want the tram running through all of this, really. Um, I mean, we've got the monorail that's coming along the front here. Our nearest monorail station is down there. Hmm, can we have a tram running along the coast? We'll just have like a station along here somewhere. I'm going to have to put some thought into this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grab this tram track and we're just going to have a tram line uh, somehow running along the side here. So let's just grab that for now, which means this road doesn't need to have the tram line built in. So we're going to change that one to... Let's see, something else. Uh, that's probably too big, is it? Let's have a look. No, there we go. So we'll change it out to that one. That's fine. There we go. That is six lanes going into two lanes. So we're going to need to change that one as well to three lane one way. So we'll go there, 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 and there. And whenever you do this, you want to watch out for this sort of thing. Because people are... Yeah, you see? Look. Cheeky so-and-so. Do a bit of a U-turn. So we can sort that if we do that and do that. There we go. And that will stop that happening. And then just check... Yep, they're still going whether it's busy or not. Nice. Okay, so we've got the tram line coming down here. And that could just literally hook straight in to this junction. That's where the tram could come off. So if we go like this, will that nicely curve in? If I anarchy that in, no, it's not going to like it. Okay, maybe let's go straight out. Let's turn off anarchy. Is that not going to let me do it? Hmm... Sort of, sort of. And I'm thinking I want to move this out a little bit as well. Uh, let's use this. So if we line this up and go like that all the way down. There we go. We may end up sticking around about in here or something. We shall see, but for now that's fine. So this. Now, I'm pretty sure you cannot go... You can go underground with tram tracks. Now, why did I think that you couldn't? Because we could just run that. Straight underground here. Uh, let's go to there and then page up. Whoops. Let's try that again. Ah, I've lost it. There it is. So let's connect to that and then go page up. Like that. So that's our tram track from one side to the other. And then we need to connect it up. Oh my goodness, look at that traffic. Mm, a lot of people coming out of here. Anyway, anyway. So I'm thinking we're going to run it along this side. I'm wondering whether actually we could curve it round and come up this side. And we could have a tram track running up here. Just so those coming off the trains can walk and get on a tram. How about that? How about doing that? Let's just have a quick look at our tram roads again. I mean, there's not that many options for converting this road. It's going to have to be something like that. If we did it from here, which is a shame because we sort of lose the trees. I think that one. Oh, we actually do get the trees still with that one. Oh, let's do the one with the trees. That looks so much better. And then if we run that up here, we can have stops for some of these parks and things. It can come over the top there. And it could even stop here and have a little tram station at the back. And that is like a merely a walk from our train station. I think that sounds quite good. Um, and this one here, we're actually going to change it back again. So let's grab that road. Oi! <laughs> Cheeky so-and-so. I want that road there. Thank you. We'll change that back. And we'll have the tram line coming out of there. So let's grab our tram line again. There it is. Oh, now this will be interesting. Can I draw straight out from there? No. Oh, I can at an angle. Oh, there we go. Well, that's okay. So if we do that, and then say come along here, let's go for a curve. So we'll go like that, then straight up with that one. Is that near enough? Ooh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight. Yep. Yeah, mm, 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 I don't like the way that looks. Can we 
jiggery pokery that a tiny bit without upsetting everybody. I think that is not too bad, actually. So we can come in there. So now we can have that go underneath and hook up to that. There we go. I don't think that looks too bad going across there like that. Let's just raise that a tiny bit. There we go. So that now goes underneath and hooks up with this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, we don't have any trams over here at all. So that means we are going to have to add in another tram depot. Can I just slot that into here? I can. Let's turn off Anarchy so we get it where it should be. There we go. Very nice. Um, we can just change that road. Let's come out of that mode for one of these. Let's grab Electrics Mod. Pick the road. Thank you kindly. Upgrade that. There we go. We'll just draw that one out a little bit further so we know that's going to carry off carry on up to there somewhere right so now we have our trams finally we can add in some tram stops now i do have the option see i can add them on the bridge over here that's weird hmm. anyway uh is there any point in having one on the bridge i don't think there is let's just start down here and add some in yeah along this way and there we go and here we come to this section that we set up before i'm going to delete this o2 thing by the way look at it it's all pixelated and horrible i didn't notice that before um, and then we're going to have these stops over here by all the parking. And this is all paths, so people can easily walk across here and get to the other side. So that's fine. We'll have another one there. And then it's going to come back round here to the main road again. And we're just going to add a couple along here because, you know, at some point we will have buildings here. And then I'm just going to go back and match up the ones on the other side. Oh, we don't have a turning circle. I forgot about that. Um, let's come out of that mode. There we go. Let's grab this. I always think they can turn around in there, but unfortunately they can't, which is uh, slightly annoying. But there we go. So let's grab this. And I'm just going to put a very ad hoc turning area in there. That little bit will have to be two ways. They can get in and out. Excellent. And then I can close this off. There we go. Excellent. That's really good. So I also just need to add a path in down here coming off the corner just so anybody using that tram stop can walk there perhaps to get across to the monorail let's just see if we've got these coming out we have how about we take a ride with this guy and check out what the city looks like and before we do that i'm going to delete this horrible monstrosity from in here there we go we've got a nice blank empty space that we possibly i'll tell you what we're going to do i'll tell you what we're going to put there where's it all gone <laughs> i've gone too far we don't have any shops or anything here at all, do we? So let us delete all of these. Can I build some shops in there? Because we don't have anything up here. There we go. If we just grab a district and just make a small little district in there. Let's just tidy that up, tidy that up, tidy that up, tidy that up. Excellent. And let us make this a... Uh, leisure, uh, tourism. We'll make that tourism. And we can actually add some shops around there. So we'll just do some small shops on those two sides. Excellent. Right, let's follow this guy and get our tour of the city over up into that direction. There we go. There we go. We've already got some nice big buildings popping up in there, which is excellent. I'm pleased with that. Now, I've also connected the train lines coming this way to go the other direction as well. So we can get people visiting from the outside from any direction. Um, I could also do with putting in there some train stops of our own to come from the main part of the city. Uh, let's get rid of that and grab our train. There it is. Train line. So that is going to come from here create new line and that is going to go up there round there along there and into here oh yeah we've got this row that isn't connected and then it's going to go back again so that will be that one 
Excellent. And where else do we have a train station? I think. Oh, we've got this one here, haven't we? Yes. Yeah, so let's grab, create a new line. That's going to go up there, up this way, round there, off here. And we'll have that, say, on... Yeah, we'll do that on that side as well. Because that'll stop halfway. Oh, facility empty. And then finish that one there. Excellent. Very good. Which facility is that that's empty? This one here. I'm not deleting this. I want that to stay. So let's stop emptying. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now that we have the money as well, we could really do with adding in some firefighting helicopters. Um, and I'm going to put them in this area over here, as this is where space is already occupied. I don't think it is, but I'm going to pop it there. We could really do with these guys going out and dealing with some of the problems that we have in our city. There we go. Because we've been getting loads of these fires. And they're just not being dealt with effectively. Like, I guess he's going to pick up... It. Yeah, he's going to pick up the water and head on over there. But we keep having these fires and no <laughs> proper way to deal with it. Where are you going? Don't stop. Keep going. There's the fire. Quick, put it out before... He keeps pausing before any more buildings are damaged. There we go. Excellent. So, there we go. What do you think? Leave me a comment below. And don't forget to hit the big B with a T-stain to subscribe. Be back here tomorrow for some more City Skylines. And check the video out on the screen as well. Take care, everybody. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.